Dr. Sinclair mentioned on the podcast with Dr. Hyman that it is good to understand your DNA and Professor Snyder talked about it as one of the legs of personalized medicine when he was on our channel. Although consumer grade DNA testing does not provide the resolution of a research lab, we do think it helps and is a step towards taking ownership of your own health. With this in mind, earlier this year we used Circle DNA to have our DNA sequenced. They have a number of options, but for budgetary reasons we chose Vital, which is their basic package. We have a link for a 30% discount that is valid for all of the packages at Circle. You can find the link in the description. As a note, this is different from biological age test, which looks at the epigenic markers that sit on top of the genes. This is looking at the underlying genes, which do not, in general, change with age. We have had some questions on what is in a DNA report, and so wanted to provide a walkthrough of the information that it provided. In this video, we will go through my report. In our next video, we will talk more on the technology and the science behind the process. This report has 14 sections. I will go through some of the relevant sections and highlight some of the information that we found useful. First is diet. We all metabolize nutrients differently based on our unique genetic makeup. You can see how your DNA plays a role in your body's ability to absorb certain vitamins and minerals. From this, you can build a more personalized diet. At the top level, they provide a summary. I am fat and carbohydrate sensitive, so the suggested diet is Mediterranean. I am fine with that, olive oil, fish and red wine. Meanwhile, my wife does not have these sensitivities, so her proposed diet is a healthy balanced one. The report then goes into detail on specific sensitivities to a number of common dietary items. You can see I am okay with alcohol and coffee, but do not react well to fats, carbs and salt. In general, I aim for a low carb diet. Certainly my wife and I have both found that cutting down on carbs was an effective way to lose weight. Here we look at more at tolerances and allergies. I am lucky I have no problems with dairy products with lactose. I do like spicy food, but not as hot as some people. My wife has shown as probably lactose intolerant. And here is a IgG report, which confirms it. She has other intolerances as well, and we will talk about those in a later video. The report includes further possible allergy areas though I am quite lucky in that I do not have these. The next section is nutrition, looking at specific nutrients that could be important to you. Here we can see I need more antioxidants, one of the reasons that I take alpha lipoic acid. I also have higher calcium requirements, but do not supplement with that given the medical literature on it. Here we see higher need for iodine, for which I am mostly eating seaweed at the moment. On the omega-3 front, we take omega-3 rich fish oil supplements. The report covers whether you have higher vitamin needs. Both my wife and I do have higher need for B6, which is required in fat and protein breakdown. We are taking B6 supplement. The next section is sports and fitness. The report has a summary of how well your body is likely to respond to various kinds of exercise. Here we can see mine does not respond well to power and endurance, and they suggest yoga. For sports types recommendations, it's similar. I don't know if I would have paid attention to this if I had known earlier, but it does not describe the sports that I have done or currently do. For my wife, she has a high endurance with low power. And this does seem to be correct, as she took up running late in life and has done very well at it. The report then goes into more detail on specific data points. And you can see here, my wife has a higher VO2 efficiency, but also has a higher injury risk. The report has some overall view of your wellness. Here are some of the details in the well-being section. Our longevity is average, and we are working on this with healthy habits and supplements. How do you handle stress? How is your sleep? The report looks at some of the parameters related to your sleep. For me, it thinks I should be a light sleeper, but I am not sure about that. And that I'm a worrier, which is probably true. My wife, however, is a worrier. The next section is on your skin. Both my wife and I have young skin, which is great, though I have a higher tendency for stretch marks, 
So it's just as well I did not do ballet as a child. And then physical traits, such as your outer appearance. They have my hair colour correct, and whether my hair will go grey early. It is grey, though at 59 I am not sure that it is early. I am trying to reverse this now with NMN. The Ancestry report identifies where your genes are from. It is quite high level. I did not tell them anything of my background, but it did identify me as being European. The gender traits show how much sex hormone, for example testosterone, you are expected to have. Next is behavioural traits. The traits are shown here. I will only show the items in this case as it contains some personal data, but you can see the types of traits that they identify. Next is your personality traits. The traits used are those from the ocean model or openness, conscientiousness, extroversion, agreeableness and neuroticism. The model was developed in the 1980s as part of the psychological trait theory. The next is the traits that could influence your success. Again, I will only show the items because it contains personal data. Here they look at IQ, EQ and skills with mathematics and language etc and also creativity, educational attainment, and information processing power. And then music and dance. This looks at your lightly dancing and musical ability and your perfect pitch or ability to discern the tone of a sound. I admit I have not noticed that this is one of my abilities. And finally, pollution. What is your sensitivity to airborne pollutants? I am shown to have a high sensitivity to many of the pollutants, though I do seem to be more resistant than my wife. We found the report provides interesting and actionable insights so that we can make better choices for ourselves. That was a look at what's in the report. There is also a companion application which provides more information. I will cover this and the technology behind the sequencing in part two. The results cannot predict what will or won't be and should not be interpreted as medical advice. Factors such as lifestyle and environment also affect whether a person develops a health condition or a trait. Sometimes we wonder, what if we had seen this report when we were younger? Would it have made any difference? We do think it may be helpful in making some choices throughout our life, especially on hobbies and studying, or even job choices based on our gifts, talents and traits. Although we cannot change the past, the results are a good reference point and having begun our anti-aging journey, we have found it is never too late to start and we still have a hundred years to go. Thank you all for watching. I hope that you found the video informative. Please do hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button for new video release notifications. It encourages us to continue to create more videos about anti-aging and extending healthy lifespan. Thank you so much for your kind support. I wish you all well and we'll speak to you again soon.